Hello you, welcome to Geekism and this part 18 of Pinewood Hills, our Planet Coaster series where we're trying to build a sort of realistic British park and this is the end of phase one. Um, this isn't really something I spoke about really, phases, um, but I'll, so I'll, I'll do that now. Uh, basically, um, every now and again I'm going to try and cap off the build and place it onto the Steam Workshop for you guys to have a look around. I get asked all the time if it's going onto the workshop and um, the plan always has been to put it on there but I kind of wanted it to be in a relatively neat state each time we do it okay and the other thing um, with uh, with this park is we're going to be building it roughly in sort of uh, eras as well so we're going to this first era, this first build here is set uh, as the park would have opened in the in the sort of late 40s um, now obviously there has been work done uh, we have an arcade, which obviously would have been placed in the 80s, uh, and there's obviously other changes as well, like some of the cattle pen queuing and some of the IPs that have been bought in and stuff like that. But the actual sort of floor plan, uh, the rides, and the sort of basic structure is what would have happened in the original park. Okay, so uh, what you're looking at here is the original 1947 opening, um, just two flats and two coasters although actually the smaller coaster came a little bit later in about 53 i think we did it for um they might have had a few more flats the next area is going to be pretty much only flats uh the next area we're going to be working on is sort of like a late 50s early 60s uh, area that's going to be based around a, a pier a traditional british pier obviously we can't do a full seaside pier in this game uh which is in britain where most uh, where a lot of theme parks or at least amusement parks are found um, but what we can do is sort of replicate that with a pier going into a lake which is going to be uh, what we do in our next area so loads of flats loads of sort of classic 60s flats things like dodgems um you know some of the sort of spinny roundy flats maybe a ferris wheel and things like that all sort of end of the pier candy floss uh, that's cotton candy for our american friends and uh, you know all sort of things like that maybe a little bit more midway things um just sort of uh, you know sort of a bit a bit cheaper a little bit more wooden uh, things like that talking of a little bit cheaper a little bit wooden i wanted to bring a little bit of gravitas to the final build here uh, which is the uh, the chair of plane um, i think this crypt sign here is maybe a bit too much gravitas and i actually ended up changing that in a live stream uh, unfortunately though i've lost a bit of footage here i don't know why um, it's nothing major though i was basically just building this car park that you can see here um, the car park is going to be uh, it's quite open uh, it isn't very full, it's quite open and um, and it's purposefully done that way because uh, for a little while now I've been looking for an idea to help um, to do with Patreon. One of, our, uh, one of our tiers on Patreon was always to get your name in the game and in our larger Disney Star Park we had a Hall of Patrons that was very similar to the Hall of Presidents. Uh, that wouldn't really fit in Pinewood Hills so I um, was trying to think of something that would work in Pinewood Hills uh, sort of fit the aesthetic and somebody suggested that we have uh, reserved parking for patrons and they, we have their names printed uh, on the parking spaces perfect idea that's why the parking spaces are a little bit more open so that we can see the names nice and clearly so we're going to be doing that before uh, i pop this as a download and then also we're having these sort of signs here to break up the parking areas into uh, into lettered areas this is a, a straight up rip from alton towers they do this they have them lettered on larger plot signs uh, like this uh, obviously this car park really the size it is probably wouldn't need these to be honest with you but uh, I, I still felt like it was worth doing here I'm just adding some very light foliage it's nothing major really because a lot of this will be removed when we carry on building the park but like I say I want to try and cut the area off just a little bit um, it's still unfinished there are still areas that need some work here but it's um, I think it's sort of tied up enough that I'm happy to put it onto the workshop and let you guys have a little look at it over Christmas uh, talking of uh, over Christmas as well we are going to be having a break from Pinewood Hills just for a couple of weeks and um, there is still going to be content on the channel of course there's still going to be Planet Coaster content on the channel uh, but we're actually going to be doing a bit of a Christmas theme um, something we'll do a video uh, of Christmas in Pinewood uh, which will be just a one-off video where we decorate it but then I'm also also hoping to time permitting do a sort of mini series for uh, for Christmas um, as well so uh, so yeah it may well change because obviously we've got family around and things like that uh, but hopefully we'll be able to do that uh, you might have spotted there a couple of sort of road trains they are from the steam workshop i'll put the link to those in the description in the description in the description um they're fantastic they, it's called something like the choo choo express but the choo spelt strange um really really nice design road train and i thought you know what, that'd be a really 
good s solution, um, both size and budget-wise, for Pinewood Hills to get people around the car park. So here I'm building a... Um, uh, sort of station for it really for want of a better word there's not much to it though it's basically just a raised platform but basically if you if you end up parking in sort of sections d and e of the car park and don't want the whole big long walk down to the uh, to the park you can queue over there and jump on the uh, the choo choo express and um I, I, that sign's actually spelt wrong I, I do go back and change that and the yeah the the the, the, uh, the train there will pick you up and it'll drop you off in this area that I've been nice I've had for ages as needing to be something and I've never known what it can be and now it can be the uh, the, the sort of road train uh, area doing a, a really awful coming soon so I actually go back and make that look better it was genuinely just to give a reason for the path being there but um actually yeah, I do I do go back and make that a little bit better later on Again, a little bit of foliage here. Some of this may well be removed. I may even try and get a path through there at some point uh, into this second area so that it's not a complete dead end down here. I'm just not sure yet. Uh, this next bit, this uh, came from uh, from the live stream this week. We had uh, Mike Sheets made, a, made a, a bit of an appearance towards the end of the stream. And uh, one thing he said is that he's really enjoying Pinewood Hills, loving how it's turned out, but I doubt I have a bit of an issue with scale. And it's, you know, it's a, something that a lot of people have an issue with in this game is scale. The game is purposefully designed uh, with a larger scale in mind. Uh, and if you're looking to do these sort of realistic parks, it does get a little bit tricky. Uh, he said the buildings aren't too bad and the rides are pretty good because most the buildings well pretty much everything i build uh, i use the archer to, to scale so i don't have these massive huge buildings he said but one of your issues is your paths he says like your pathing areas are too big he said there's um the large area we've got down the bottom here uh, was a little over the top he said but there's no reason uh, why you wouldn't have a large swathe of concrete uh, especially in american parks and that's something that hears a bit of a chord with me to be honest with you because this isn't an american park it's a british park and uh, apologies if i'm forgetting anybody or if i've not seen them but i don't think there's many other people doing a sort of proper british park uh, there's a few other british players and that uh, but you know they a lot of them are doing sort of an american style park and I thought, you know what, then I really got to try and double down on the Britishness of this park. So one thing we wouldn't have is huge expanses of concrete. One thing we would have is a picnic area. Um, it's a very common thing to find in British parks. Uh, Alton Towers has a huge picnic area. Pretty much as you walk in, it's the first thing you see. Uh, this huge uh, swathe of grass uh, in front of the lake that you can go and eat picnics on. Uh, and also various other areas through the park. Uh, they have them as well. And I thought park has quite a large picnic area. And a lot of the smaller parks, um, like Water Valley, um, all the Chessington Worlds and Lands and all those, they all have large picnic areas as well. Um, mostly, well, one just for sort of a place for people to get food, but then also they have a lot of school trips go to these places as well, and they make great meeting points for schools and, um, you know, a place to organise themselves and things like that. So it was a case of ripping all the path out, replacing it with the, um, with the natural texture path, which is uh, a little bit funky to use in the middle of a space. You get these weird little logs occasionally, so I've kind of had to work around these logs. I think I've done a relatively decent job of it. It makes the whole thing look a little bit um, higgledy-piggledy, a little bit sort of funkily shaped uh, to try my best to cover these logs, but I'm actually quite happy with how this has turned out, and I do think it's a big improvement. The only other improvement would be to completely rip the whole thing out and start again, basically, and that ain't happening, so... <laughs> This is uh, this is the best you're getting, Mike. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you think this is an improvement. Let me think if it was if it was worth doing. Uh, personally, I do. Um, I think it may be a sign of something here. You know, something like um, uh, a, like a memorial. I don't know, a lawn. I guess you would call it. You wouldn't really call it a park, would you? Because we're in a park. Yeah, something like the so-and-so memorial lawn opened in, you know, 1987 or something like that. I look, you know, a lot of you are really appreciating the little history we're adding to the park, and it's something I'm really enjoying doing as well, especially with the billboards and things like that. So, yeah, regarding the park being British, it is a British park, and I do feel like I want to sort of double down on that now. You know, we've got a, we've got a red double-decker bus. Uh, we've got these picnic areas. We've got... Um, you know, a few British flags around the place as well, British uh, style vehicles and, and, la and road markings and things like that. Um, it is going to be something, I'm, as I move ahead, I'm going to try my best to, to sort of really keep that British vibe of the park. Um, so yeah, there's the area pretty much. I have no idea what's going on here. It seems like I'm clicking nothing. 
There we go. That was weird, wasn't it? I think I was. I, you didn't really miss much. I was just placing some of the new barriers down under the the, uh, the stone walls we built there to stop people walking through them. Uh, okay. Last thing we're going to do in the time lapse of this video is uh, finish off this big backstage area that we haven't. Um, we've kind of left abandoned, really. There's still probably some space for some extra little bits and bobs. Uh, but one thing I wanted to do was use uh, Minerals' uh, fantastic van here um, as a uh, an actual van loading. So I'm going to go in and edit it a little bit, try and take basically open up the back of it, and uh, I have to do a little bit of work. I have to get rid of some of the detailing on the outside so as that we can make the inside empty. Uh, but I think it doesn't really lose that much on the uh, on the outside, and I think it's, just, it's a nice uh, nice change. Again, this sort of this diorama style of build um, with things happening. Uh, and not moving necessarily, you know, obviously the guests move around, the rides move around, uh, the shops and things like that work, but uh, other scenes like this that we're sort of manufacturing out of scenery pieces, I think it's, uh, it's quite acceptable that, um, uh, that they're static and, you know, it just gives you an idea, like I said, that sort of model train set, things like that, uh, using some of the scenery pieces. Talking of scenery pieces, oh, I may well... I may well talk myself into a corner here because obviously I'm recording this before Friday, but I think there may have been an announcement regarding some new scenery today. Um, don't know whether that's a risky idea of mentioning it because they, they may not have been. So, uh, But uh, yeah, little birdie tells me there may be something out there. We'll see if I was right. Let's see if I was right when it actually comes down to it. Uh, here we go. I was trying to, my heart is to put a bit of path there so I could have a staff member stand next to this trolley. So instead we drop it down. I realised that the, that the kind of fits the object of having that raised section but i really wanted a member of staff stood there next to that building um we add in some windows i feel like i've been quite clever here we had some small windows there because on the inside of the building there is a toilet because uh, that is the guest services building so there would be smaller windows there i mean obviously these windows don't really uh carry through to the inside of the buildings they're more for show but i thought it was a nice touch to have the smaller windows there where you would find the uh where you would find the toilet. Uh, these signs that we built in a live stream, we're adding those down. This would be the uh, the storage area for these. They get dumped there until they're needed. And uh, a couple of bins just to finish that area off there. And uh, last thing we do is a bit of uh, yeah, a bit of parking. Pretty standard stuff, really. I kind of say just sort of filling that area out. Still a little bit of a, a larger area still to fill there. You know, maybe if there's a, a large truck we could add in, something like that, driving down to the midway to deliver the teddy bears or something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, suggestions on a postcard, please, what to finish off there. Like I say, you can have a good look around there because there is going to be a Steam Workshop link in the description. A little bit of detailing here on the uh, the path. I was trying to sort of fill all this in, but it was on a it was on a slant. It was quite tricky to do, so instead I just used... Um, some nice sort of low down fence pieces this is just a bit of greenery this is the, the greenery here is more for the benefit of the people on the other side of the fence but you would they would still make this neat and usable so that uh, it was you know look good for the staff coming in on to work on a morning you know a little bit of uh, foliage and stuff like that and uh, that rock is for some reason really sticking out and last thing we do then is add in a proper coming soon area and you'll be able to see uh, the next thing we're going to be working on which is Dun dun dun, trying to find a decent sign, but first of all we're going to have some hazard tape. <laughs> Didn't sign that very well, did I? Uh, the uh, the next part, which is going to be, uh, pardon our dust, that's a Disney thing, uh, that they always put on things that are working. Coming 1962, um, it's going to be Sparrow Wharf. So I thought to finish off then we'd have a little look around in Tejikam. Uh, to kind of see from this kind of angle what the whole place is looking like. Uh, so we start off way back in episode 2, I think. We built our Pinewood Hills logo here. Uh, love, uh, somebody suggested that some of the letters get discoloured and a little bit wonky and stuff. And I think it's got a real real feeling to it. And uh, I think it's turned out really quite nicely. Uh, to the right over here, we're going to go and go for a run. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not very fit. And we've got our, uh, our car park now that comes uh, comes out quite nicely. This uh, this whole fence here could probably do with a little something, but then again, it is just a car park fence, so who knows? But there we go. Here's our larger car park that we're going to add the names onto. Uh, probably do that as soon as we uh, we come back. And then uh, over here, we've got our new addition uh, this episode, which is the uh, the Choo Choo Express train station. Look at that! Isn't that so good with the steam on top and everything? That's great. Anyway, we're not going to take the express. We're going to run. And we're going to run all the way down the, uh, the side of this fence here, all the way back to the uh, the main entrance. And then we'll head through the park. So yeah, I thought we'd just do this little overview area. 
Um, we've got the traffic lights here that we built on stream the other day. And then uh, we come around here, uh, we find our, uh, our ticket booths. So that's where we go and grab some of our tickets from. And then we come through the uh, ticket gates, make sure the security uh, is okay with us coming through. And then we come into our first uh, plaza area. So uh, one of the very first things we did was build this, uh, the Voschkiri, the, uh, the push chair. Uh, rental. A few people have mentioned the lack of Planko lately. Well, we haven't really done that many words, to be honest with you. And the ones I have done, they haven't had a Planconian word for it. Uh, so uh, I'll have to get on to, uh, to James to come up with some translations. But there's your push chair rental. And then over the other side, we've got uh, our guest services where you can come in and uh, you can check out uh, some stuff, but you can also just like buy some gear as well. We should probably stick a member of staff behind there, shouldn't we? Do that in the next episode. Some uh, some other facilities down here. We've got our telephone boxes, our lockers, uh, a little map. We need to update the uh, the part map. Wow, that was a long time ago. Look, um, yeah, that definitely needs to be updated with some actual names and stuff now as well. That's a bit of a placeholder. I'll try and do that before uh, before I release it. Also, there'll be uh, in the um, Steam Workshop page there'll be a link to a Dropbox or something similar that will have all the billboards in for you to uh, to use. This is the first ride we did was our uh, Venetian carousel. It doesn't get much love, unfortunately. People aren't really loving the carousel. I really like the queue uh, section we did here, though. Uh, it was like a nice little sort of semi-indoor area here with some uh, classic carousels from around the world uh, put on the uh, images there. Oh, anyway, we move over to uh, to this next area. We did the uh, we've got an ice cream van here where people can go and get themselves an ice cream from. And then over here, one thing I'm probably probably the most happiest with overall is the Pinewood Amusements Arcade. So in here we've got some old uh, classic uh, arcade machines and uh, various sort of pinballs, football tables. Uh, we've got a dance machine, uh, an outrun style, and uh, and a few other bits and bobs. A penny pusher here as well with the pennies all lined up. Uh, yeah, so that really well. And then we also did these quite recently as well, these little 50p goes as well. And then off camera, I did a little, uh, a little car version as well. So we've got a car and the, uh, uh, what would you call it, like a spaceship, I guess. Come and take your photo here with the Pinewood Hills night for nights at Pinewood Hills. There we go. And then we head down here into our first food court. Proudly sponsored by Tiki Cheeky, hence all the oranges and red colours. And, uh, and we've got some popcorn here. If you don't fancy a full uh, chicken, you can come and get some popcorn. And then over here, we've got a young guy looking where to go. And then we've got Ruble's fantastic midway uh, set out into the Tiki Cheeky prize walk. This is um, the whole idea here is that Tiki Cheeky, uh, in return for having their restaurant here, they've had to spend a little bit of money on doing some of the areas up. And then we have this lovely uh, sort of pine, um, this sort of forest area in the middle here to get yourself something to eat in. We have a shoot the hoops game where you can win yourself one of those annoying minions, and then we also have a hook a duck, uh, which um, goes quite nicely next to our boating little boating lake. There you can come and put 50p in and drive the boats around, and then we have uh, our first major coaster here. Then is Thunderer, uh, originally called Roller Coaster, but rebranded in honour of the HMS Thunderer uh, on the uh, 50th anniversary. Oh, this is something I haven't shown yet. We popped this down the other day. This is. Um, uh, Ruble Trillion's uh, face paint section. It actually, it's bigger than this. Um, I just sort of chopped it up a little bit and put it in here because I think it fits the gap really nicely. There's a few more tables and a little extra unit and stuff on the bl on the blueprint. I'll put the link in the description to that as well. But yeah, really good stuff. So we've got Thunder over there, and then we've got its little brother, Little Thunder, uh, down here, and uh, you can come through and get your ride ticket for ride photos from Thunder there. Uh, or you can queue up for the, uh, the Little Thunder, which is a little wooden coaster that, that is now sort of sponsored by Tiki Cheeky. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Last thing, because I did do it for some reason, the save file I was in didn't work. Um, so I've just had to come back and do a little bit of the back uh, backstage stuff again. But one thing I did on the save file, which for some reason isn't saved, is actually put down a Tiki Cheeky guy. Because if you're going to have a Tiki Cheeky guy, a mascot. This is going to be where you're going to have it, isn't it? So we'll put you down there. Get ready to pause once you walk in the right way. Like that. There we go. Uh, we're going to give you a whole load of cash. Uh, we're going to guess that it's a dustbin security and put you there. And then the other thing we need is a, uh, a member of staff to stand with you. There we go. So now, uh, young Cecilia Waters is um, is going to be your carer, so to speak. Whoops. 
what you want the dustbin security as well and move you to be just there. There we go. Then we can undo that. There we go. And there she's there. Oh, getting her head smacked in. She's a little close. Let's move you a bit further back. Perfect. She's there, the kiddies can come and say hello to him when they come off the coaster. Fantastic. Right, that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to show you then. Like I say, there'll be a link in the description um, for the uh, the park. Like I say, there's still work to do. I've just kind of roughly capped off this area here. But like I say, we may end up editing this to have a path coming through it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. At the moment, the main area uh, entrance is going to be over here. Uh, that, that fence has gone as well, look. Well, yeah, I lost a bit of work, never mind. Uh, the fence, the area's going to come over here to a lake, but I might end up carrying this through as well. That would probably make a little bit more sense in the long run. So, uh, yeah, maybe look at doing that and rehousing the, uh, the photo booth somewhere else. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're going to have a couple of weeks off from Pinewood now, like I say, over Christmas while we do some Christmassy stuff here on the channel. We will be back in January. We're going to start working on a wharf area around a lake here with a, uh, with a pier and hopefully get some special guests on as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. Really glad that you're all still loving this series and, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.